Welcome to Pizza Joe's. How can I take your order? <laughs> uh, side of no moon face, please. I'm afraid we can't do that. That's mandatory. Damn it. I can give you a fairy that sounds like a bike bell in your face. Well, can I get swamp flavor instead? We have swamp flavor? Yes. It's gonna take a full video to prepare for, though. Okay, I'll wait. So, in this part, this is mostly preparation for Woodfall, because there's a lot we can do now that we're human. That, uh, might as well get out of the way. One, that fucking dog doesn't attack us anymore. There's a kid in a Keton mask. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I like his hair. Yeah. I almost want to dye my hair purple. But I have a lot of hair, so... I wasn't gonna make that. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I'm going there. I'm really ADD this morning. <laughs> oh, I'm proud of that. Nice. Oh, hey, kid. Hey, what's up? We didn't try to break into your house. No, no. <laughs> I, I love how Link gets the fairy, the fish are like, oh god, he's gonna fall. When is he gonna fall? When is he gonna fall? <laughs> so I need the fairy again so that. Um, the Great Fairy can give me something else. She actually gives you two things, depending on if you're a Deco Scrub or a human. You know, going in there, it's not open, oh. so never fucking mind. Another interesting thing, too. Yeah, some stores will literally be just not open because it's not time. Yeah. They put a little attention to detail. Yeah. It's kind of annoying, though. Like, you're like, damn it, why are you perfect? Cause you just want to get it over with. Kind of, yeah. It's back here. 300 rupees. And it refills every time. Every cycle. Every chest in the entire game refills. Um, the only things that don't go back in there are, like, key items, dungeon items and all that. If that happens, they're refilled with, like, a 5 rupee. That's so hard to do, rolling up a freaking hill. Made of wood, no less. Link doesn't have a problem. Please, Link. I'm sorry, Pizza Joe. He can roll anything. More like Pizza Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, well, let's save that for the next Zelda game. We don't need to. Have him right there. Oh, well, alright. Not so bad turning back into a human, even though clearly my bones cracked first time. <laughs> yeah, my genetics will be fine. So now that I'm a human, I can actually join the bombers, but I have to do the same thing. At least I get something new this time. And hey, they missed me. That <laughs> one fucking kid. If you're curious, yeah, you can climb up that slide. When you're Deku Scrub, you cannot jump over here, though. You're just too small. But Human Link has no problem. And that's three. Fuck. <laughs> <Ain't> shit. <laughs> Gotta program that branch really good, Jack. Now, if you happen to have a problem... <laughs> <just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> that's not an option, but this is. I love how you started that sentence. If you happen to have a problem with kids... <laughs> Yes, you could spit on them, and then axe them down. And then axe kick them in the face! <laughs> Link, calm down. Pizza Joe, what, what happened? I'm gonna show this kid. This would be a little easier with a better camera angle. Smack. <laughs> I'll accept that. It's just a little He's nodding to <laughs> He's still nodding. I didn't notice that until. <laughs> yeah, Pizza Joe. I like that. He's got Tourette's, alright. <laughs> I was gonna name my kid that. When I get one. Yeah. What you mean, little brother? I hate calling him Jack. <laughs> He's the one who sends the gate, by the way. With goats. Yeah, you know, I mean, that kid's named Jim. He's one word away. 
Pizza Joe. Yeah. Pizza Jim. <laughs> By the way, I'm number one. So the Bomber's Notebook is basically our side quest um, tracking. Every time we talk to a character who has a side quest, the notebook will fill up. And then we can use that to keep track of when specific things involving them happen. Yay yeah, for me. <laughs> I bet even when I die, and like I'm playing the last Zelda game I will ever do, I will still... Before I die, the last thing that will happen is me rolling into a wall. <laughs> I feel like this has happened before. You know, with me being a magical being and stuff, but whatever. <laughs> they kind of tried hard to make that weird. Yeah, a little. So at every dungeon... There will be fairies inside, though if we collect ten, we can return them to the great fairies found nearby. And then we can get more stuff. And to help us with that, the great fairy mask. By wearing this inside of a dungeon, it will... Um, signal if there are fairies in the room by having the hair shimmer. And if there are fairies that can easily get to us, like... That have the ability to move around, it, uh, it will attract them to us. It's almost indispensable if you want to get all the fairies. I like our description of the mask. It's like, oh, the stray fairies won't be fr afraid of you, but people will. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow still hits a wall. <laughs> He's rolling upstairs. Damn it. <laughs> So this is the mayor's office. <laughs> so, like, she's like, do you have some business? No. I don't need to worry about the mayor, but his wife will give me something. His wife, the giant fish. The giant fish. <laughs> she kind of looks like one. <laughs> I really like that they put a band in a Zelda game. Yeah, it was pretty cool. They did a lot of cool things with this one. Yeah. This one really stands out. And yes, he is smacking his own head. I did not want to talk to you again. So the first album came out in... No. I also have the face of a 13-year-old, man. <laughs> I have my- I have a hand on my hip. Does it look like I actually give a shit what you're saying? <laughs> you're an, how, how can you just tell that I'm an expert? We, we- this is our first conversation. So just by talking to her, I get a mask. Which is cool, and it- The hair looks kind of familiar. Huh. Whatever. That's not till uh, later. Use it as a frisbee. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, guard dude? I am sick of your shit. <laughs> yes, I've got a damn sword. <laughs> Who cares if it looks like it's too big for my body? <laughs> I love that. Whoa, we can't let you... Pa oh, you have a sword? Yeah, you'll be fine. You're still a kid, but you know, you'll be fine. It's like if you have a gun, just don't point it at yourself. I know, right? Now I'm coming over here. This is the area that leads to Snowhead. This little rock mushroom of sorts has something that happens at midnight. This dude. Does this weird you out as much as it does me? Um, I'm kind of obstructed by the f uh, well, taken aback by the fact that his hair looks like a paintbrush. 
<laughs> it's called a ponytail, Yoshi. Well, they painted it green, and it looks funny. He's dead. He has an excuse. Okay. And I like how he talks in, like, poetry nonsense, and then there's a translation. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Buffering. I'm gonna show him those damn animations. <laughs> okay. I died, Mickey Poppy. Okay. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust you to understand that, so listen. So I don't know if I showed it yet, but yeah, when you... Um, the Song of Time has two alternate forms you can use. One where if you play double the amount of notes, will jump you ahead to either the dawn of the next day or night of the current day. And if you play it backwards, it will slow the current flow of time. Um, that's the inverted flow of time. Inverted is, like, the most used song for me. And that right there is just something that happens on the wall there. There will be notes there, and if you play a Ocarina of Song, you get rupees. But, uh, remember these sisters? They don't know how to dance, so I'm gonna show them. <laughs> and they pay attention. <laughs> you know, they really did give Blink a personality for this. <laughs> he never talks, but I like that all of his actions are through the masks. Yeah. And you got this guy. I've seen weirder. <laughs> Is that a pole next to them? Yes. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know we had that kind of relationship now. Stop staring at me. <laughs> Don't clap. Am I, am I clapping my hat? Go me. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> he takes it off. Where'd he go? <laughs> I think just being around them slowed the frame rate. Oh, God. The Curiosity Shop is an interesting place. Stolen things get sold here. And he has nothing. But I will be back here eventually. Yeah, you can have this ocarina, I guess. Fucking camera. <laughs> if you notice, for people who remember Ocarina of Time, all of the um, backgrounds in um, Hyrule Town were pre-rendered. Whereas, um, all of the scenery in Majora's Mask is actual geometric, um, well, design. It's not just some painting somewhere. That, like, if you were to glitch the game and float over it, you wouldn't just fall into the abyss. And also, I ran out of rupees for whatever reason. Oh yeah, because I deposited <laughs> them even though I needed the damn bomb bag! Yeah, you deposited them. So yeah, this is one of the few Zelda games where you just buy the equipment. At least for one thing. <laughs> like, hey kid, you want some bombs? There you go. Oh, alright, cool. See you later. No supervision, just do whatever. He's an adult, he has a sword. <laughs> oh, you're right. Now that I have bombs, time to be irresponsible. I'm an adult. <laughs> oh, I thought, you, I thought the sound effect from bed for after he hit the ground when he fell. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what Termina Field is supposed to look like. There are actual things out here. That is this game's version of a chew. Oh. I always thought it looked weird. 
Yeah. I mean, it's probably supposed to be, but you know. Like, they got kind of adorable in the Wind Waker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every other game, they just look creepy. Oh. Remember this song. That's the Sun song. And... In, like, in the early um, versions of this game, the Sun song was gonna be what the Song of Time is now. Your method of time travel. Uh-huh. You also had seven days instead of three. I think the changes worked. Remember, Dodongo hates bombs. And also remember, get out of the way of fire. <laughs> out of the way of my core. I really did not even try to do this smartly. I'm just having too much fun. <laughs> Chucking bombs. Oh, there goes one. I remember when I was a kid, the Dodongos in Ocarina of Time freaked the fuck out of me. But then I was scared of everything back then. <laughs> they got scared of me when I was a kid with the Reduds. Yeah, they scared everybody. Those and the hands from the Forest Temple and the Shadow Temple. Oh yeah, the Wall Masters. The first time I didn't expect them, I was like thinking, where should I go? And then he grabs me, I'm like, oh god, the game finally came alive. And I like how when I killed them, I got 50 rupees. I like how you get all the health back. Yeah. Yeah, you thought I was shitting around? Well, kinda. It's not wrong. <laughs> Fuck you, too. This is another thing that this wall does. Instead of an actual song, it just kind of makes shit up. After a little bit. Five minutes, maybe. Just trying to remember this piece of crap. This is mostly exploration. There's a grotto right here. If you remember from when we were in the observatory, there's a little kid dancing here. And this is basically the um, generic grottos like that you would see in Ocarina of Time. Only thing in here is some Deku Babas, where we could get Deku Nuts and Deku Sticks, which are useful to have, and a chest full of rupees. And a stick. And a stick. I already said that. <laughs> I was excited. Also, there are bugs and a fish in these. So there's quite a lot of things that you could use. In these. There's a chest up there. Wish I could get it, but I can't. The only thing in there is rupees. What? Fucking okay. <laughs> the one rupee that isn't there. That's how you want to play it? Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, piece of shit. Ah. By the way, that bubble, if you if it hits you, you're unable to draw your sword. For a couple of seconds. It's just, an, it's just a nuisance. It takes a couple minutes from what I've done. And it is annoying as fuck. And you notice, um, every time you go back in time, your, um, dispensable items, nuts, bombs, and what have you, they disappear, so you have to recollect them. Which isn't hard. You can go right outside and cut some grass and get them back. I don't know what I was so apprehensive about there. <laughs> it was a dog. <laughs> I fucked that up. <laughs> Every out of the bushes just got scared and suicided itself for no reason. This this is one thing that hasn't aged well with this game. 
the camera and the controls in relation to the camera, they can work against you sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to get used to Wind Waker again. Now, I'm waiting for midnight, because you saw that guy was kind of hiding up in the back. He's being a little creepy. And at midnight, this woman just sort of materializes. Now, uh, I could let this go at normal speed. And I'm going to let it go at normal speed until she gets close. But then I'm going to slow down time, because when time is slowed, what's about to happen is sort of comically stupid. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. And yes, you can just kind of skip through the time slowing cutscene. So that guy is going to chase after her to grab her stuff and steal it. But time is slowed. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Well, hello there, little man. You're gonna get me what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Okay, I think it got- okay, I got you. <laughs> Stop! Me! That was easy. I love this guy. He has the stupidest run. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like how he's still running in a circle, though. Yeah, he follows the same path regardless of if you hit him or not. As if he, got, as if he has a chance. Yeah, like, and the guard doesn't even care. Yeah. Just witnessed a robbery. That was my favorite part. He's just like, oh, whatever. He's an adult, I can't do nothing. <laughs> Excuse me, he does not have a sword guard. Well, he had a sack of balls for two seconds, and that counts. So by saving her, I get a blast mask, which is basically a free bomb. If you use it, it takes a little while for it to recharge, but not too long. And uh, I have an immediate use for it. I can get some rupees with it. It's a neat little item to have. When I'm full on bombs, I mostly just go for them. But it's, it's cool to have. That's how you keep from hurting yourself with it. Yoshi, I remember in the first attempt of this LP, uh, you did not know that. Yeah, I didn't. So I would just stand there and blow up and, you know, get hurt. Yeah, because it is an explosion. Also, this does not work. <laughs> Let's have to swim the normal way. But uh, the bomb's explosion technically happens in front of Link, so the hitbox is in front of the shield when you hold it out, so you can protect yourself from it. And behind here is another free and recurring 100 rupees. Yeah, so you can get money pretty easily in the bird's mask. Oh, this dick again. It would make sense. I heard that in the original that uh, the way you would get more time is that you would go to the banker and pay them money because time was money. It's a clever idea. Which is a kind of clever idea. It's kind of dumb, but I get it. That's a Nino Kuni level of stupid joke, though. <laughs> they were like, yeah, this, this ain't gonna work. I'm getting the title deed because there is another Deku scrub in um, Woodfall. If this is actually a recurring um, side quest you can do, is real estate trading. Like, every time you see a Deku Scrub in one location, you can give him the title deed from the previous place, get that flower, and then use that to um, get another heart piece. So, next time, I am an adult, sir. Yeah, I don't see you stealing any bombs. <laughs> so next time, we will tackle Woodfall. <laughs> Time is money, really? Yeah, that's really what they were gonna go with. See?